welcome back guys in this lecture we are going to start the uh, design of the admin panel so first of all i will show you the demo of the admin panel in my deployed version so you can understand the uh, structure so this is the deployed version so now i will write the admin in the local host not local host in the url so if the user if the logged in user is having the admin access it will goes to the admin panel so if the logged in user is not having the admin panel uh, admin access it will goes to the login page so here i have logged in with the shravan user in my deployed version press enter so here you can see this is the admin panel so in the admin panel we have four sections so bookings rooms uh, add room and uh, users so here uh, this is the bookings section so in the booking section we are going to display the all bookings booking id user id room from uh, to and the status so these are the mandatory uh, properties so if you want to include some more properties by your own you can include so this uh, i will show you the um, uh, format of how to design this admin panel so you can include the properties whatever you want so in the rooms also i am going to display some properties like room id name type rent per day max count and phone number and in the add room also we are going to uh, give some input fields so name of the room rent per day max count description phone number type of the room and for every room we are having three image urls right so there's a reason i have given image url 1 image url 2 image url 3 so when we click on add room button so the room will be added to our uh, application so the last tab is the user section so first we are going to start with the bookings so first of all we have to create one new route in that new route you have to uh, create the uh, same uh, admin panel h1 text and here we are going to use the entity tabs so if you want to use the navbar you can use else you can use the entity tabs so compared to bootstrap navbar uh, entity tabs is simple so when it has the lower uh, user criteria so the navbar will be used by every person but the admin panel is used by only some of the persons so there's a reason you can use the entity uh, tabs here so uh, let's go to the vs code and in the screens i am going to create one new screen admin screen dot js yeah in this admin screen dot js now i am going to write rfce react functional component export and here i will write h1 admin panel control s and now let's open the entity tabs entity tabs and copy the code of the first one so here you can see basic tabs uh, copy this and paste it in the div and here you need to import that respective entity elements now format the document format document and here remove this uh, on change function we don't require here So now let's change the titles of the tabs. So the first one is bookings and the second one is rooms and the third one is add room and the last one is users. Copy this and paste it here and change the key for the key should be in the ascending order one, two, three, four. So here I'm going to change users or users list. So in every one, uh, in every tab, I'm going to write one H1 text, H1. So the first one is having the uh, bookings, right? Yeah, bookings. And second is rooms, H1, rooms. And the next is uh, H1, add room. And the last one is users h1 users control s so that's it guys now let's import these uh, admin screen in the app.js uh, route path equal to admin and here component is equal to exact component is equal to admin screen 
yeah that's it now let's check and for this admin screen uh, for the main div i'm going to apply the same margins class name is equal to uh, mt3 ml3 yeah margin top 30 margin left 30 and i'm going to apply the box shadow also bs box shadow uh, let's go to the admin tab yeah so now i got everything so admin panel uh, rooms add room and uh, users so here for the left and right side uh, for the left and top we are having margin but the right side we don't have margin so let's apply the right side also m mm, r3 yeah now it's looking much better so first let's start with the bookings and if you want to bring this admin panel at the center you can bring it uh, here i will write class name is equal to text center and the admin panel should be bold b yeah and if you want to increase the size also you can increase it so i will increase style font size i will write 30 px so i think we have declared the h1 font size with the important tag in the index.css that's the reason it is not working so replace it with the h2 so whenever you write important you cannot override that now it should work yeah now the size is increased admin panel and it's also looking good and now let's start with the bookings so here we have two choices if you want to create separate components for the uh, all the bookings uh, users rooms you can create it or if you want to write the same thing here only you can uh, write here so i think it, it it doesn't have much code so you can write in the same admin screen so first i am going to write uh, export uh, function bookings yeah so here i will write return div so in this div first i will write the class name is equal to row and from this row i am going to use dot call md uh, 8 or uh, 9 columns 8 columns is enough or if you want to use complete uh, 10 yeah 10 is better so i am going to use 10 columns and here first i will write h1 bookings so here i will remove this h1 text and i will write the component bookings and it's already exported here you can see no error and i got bookings so now i am going to uh, send the api request so first of all import the use state and use effect here use state and use effect and import axios also import axios from axios and here i am going to write use effect hook the use effect function should be async and here i am going to write try cache blocks try catch so in this try catch i am going to write const so first of all you have to declare the states here const bookings comma set bookings set bookings equal to use state initially it is empty and here const data equal to await axios dot post slash api slash bookings slash get all bookings 
get all bookings that's it uh, so we need not to send any parameter because we are retrieving all the details so dot data yeah and that's it and if our data is success i am going to write set bookings same data if it is having any error just print clg error and i am going to put the loading and uh, loading screen so already we have the booking screen right side of the admin screen so let's copy the loader and error so paste it here so this is the bookings right let's see const loading and set loading equal to initially it is use state so initially loading will be true and after getting a uh, try response that means if the response is success just write set loading is equal to false so if you keep this you state false here you have to keep the set loading true so that's up to you here also set loading false control s and set error uh error so here we have not given the error right now yeah, let me give the error const error set error is equal to use state initially it is empty that's it so if the loading is true i will show loading if loading is true i will show loader and sorry you have to write below the h1 text and if the loading is false then you might get your response so there's a reason i am going to write if bookings is true or bookings dot length bookings dot length is true just print h1 text with the bookings dot length size so there are total there are total i'm going to write bookings dot length bookings dot length bookings so it will show there are total 5 bookings or there are total 4 bookings if the response is success so format document control s and now let's see in the back end where it is bookings route so it's very simple you need not to write any conditions you just need to send all the bookings router dot get so i think you have used router dot post or get it's not post it get router dot axios dot get here also router dot get the root name is get all bookings keep it async and here get all bookings uh try catch try catch const room sql not rooms bookings is equal to bookings is equal to await booking dot find so no condition we have to send everything response dot send rooms not rooms bookings else response dot throw error response dot error error that's it now let's see refresh the page here you can see i got the result there are total four bookings if i refresh here you can see first it will show the loading then it will show there are total four bookings so in the next lecture we are going to design the table and for the rooms and users also we are going to apply the same logic so in place of bookings you have to keep rooms in place of bookings you have to keep users in these two respective panels that's it thank you